Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a designer shoe collection. These are probably one of my favorite videos to watch aside from handbag collections. Um, like handbag shoes can really make or break an outfit and I just love collecting shoes, de designer or non-designer. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the first brand I'll start off with is Gucci. So here I have the Gucci B sneakers that basically everyone and their mom has. Um, as you can see, mine are pretty scuffed up. I bring these like when I go traveling a lot. Um, they're really great to walk in and they're just really cute casual sneakers. So. so the next pair of shoes I have are these Gucci loafers. These are basically my work shoes. Um, they're pretty worn as well. I should probably get a new pair. But um, these look great with like dark jeans light jeans, black jeans, even work slacks. So, um, so I like to wear them to work and I like that they don't have a back so I can like kind of take them off because I have a tendency to do that. Um, but they're in a size 37 and a half. So typically um, I wear 37 in shoes. It depends on the shoes, but most of the time it's 37, 37 and a half or 38. So yeah. Next I have another pair of loafers from Gucci and these are just the, the same thing as I had um, before, but they're in this like navy velvet um, and they also have a back to them. I originally wanted the brown velvet, um, but at the London Heathrow Airport, which is where I bought these, they only had these and they literally had this pair left. So I was stupid not to buy it because of the discount. Um, but these are in a size 38 because they don't stretch as easily. I haven't worn these as much as you can tell just because they're a little bit more dressy. And sometimes when you wear them, people kind of stare at you funny. Um, I mean, if you about that life, then work it, but you know trying to be low-key sometimes so yeah all right so the next brand I have are Fendi and these are the Fendi sneakers I don't know if they have a name um, but they just have like the belt detailing in the top and then the little Fendi um, detail at the back so they look very clean because I haven't worn them I bought these when Nordstrom had their 10% off um, pandemic sale um, I don't know well, they had a 10% off sale off everything so that's when I bought them so I haven't really gone out obviously because everything's closed um, worn these out but I've worn them around the house and I've kind of stretched them out a bit they're in a size 37 I really like these um, I think they're a bit more comfortable than the Gucci B sneakers they're a little softer um, the B sneakers are kind of they're kind of stiff so you kind of have to wear them um, before they kind of mold to your feet um, but these are really comfortable and I'm excited to wear them out. So the next pair of shoes I have are these sandals and these are like kind of a glamorized Birkenstock I should say. Um, they're very comfortable. I've worn them around the house because um, obviously I haven't been allowed out. Well things just aren't open. But I also bought these a few weeks ago just kind of on a whim. Um, so really cute and just you know some casual casual shoes. So next I'm going to show you my Chanel shoes. So here are my uh, Chanel flats. These are just the, the classic um, black cap toed flats. I got these at the Rue Cambon store in Paris so they're kind of sentimental to me. Um, but these are in a size 36 and a half. Um, they are full leather so they stretch very easily so you can go down half a size is what the essay told me. But um, love these shoes. Again, these look great with jeans. Also, I wear them with light jeans and white jeans. Um, but dresses, anything, you know, uh, depending on the look you're trying to go for. So yeah, love these. So next I have these heels from Chanel. Um, these, I don't know the names of all these, um, but you've probably seen them around Instagram. So they look like this and they have the little um, Chanel gold piece right here with a black cap toe. Um, but these are... They look dressy and kind of grandma-like to some, but I really like them. They really dress up a pair of jeans. Um, and a lot of the common theme with my shoes is I like shoes that I can wear with just like casually. So um, I do have some dressy shoes, which you'll see, but a lot of my shoes, you can wear them dressy or you can wear them um, with jeans, which is what I like. So that's kind of what I look for in shoes. But yeah, these are very comfortable um, and they, they stay on your feet. So um Yep. So next I have my espadrilles and I have three pairs of espadrilles. So I'm going to show you all of I'm going to show you them all at once because they're just espadrilles. Um, but I was on this weird kick in the springtime and I was just obsessed with espadrilles. So I bought three of them. So the first pair I have kind of dusty. As you can tell I haven't been wearing them. So the first pair I have are these black leather ones. Um, these are I'm sure a lot of people have these. 
Um, but I wore these in the rain once, so they're a little ruined, but you can't tell from the outside, but when you slip them on, you can kind of feel it. Um, so I should probably get a new pair, but I'm not going to do that anytime soon. <laughs> Cute and classic, and as I said before, it goes with everything. And then another pair I have are these pearl ones. Um, I don't know why, I just love, like I just, when you think of Chanel, you think like pearls, um, and just this classic, you know, beige with the black cap toe. Um, needed to get these just because I just, I just fell in love with them. Um, they're a little hard to put on, as you can see, they kind of crease right here, so you definitely want to slip them on with a shoehorn or else you're going to ruin your shoes. But I absolutely love these, um, and I always get questions when I wear them, so. And then the last pair of espadrilles I have are these fabric. Um, it's like a sparkly kind of silverish, whitish um, fabric with a CC and the black cap toe. Love these. I just saw them. They just they just looked really cute, and I had to add them to my collection. So, all right. And then my last pair of Chanel shoes are these um, Chanel sneakers. I really wanted these because I had seen them floating around Instagram like crazy, and um, I just thought I had to have a pair. So I bought these and I'm kind of scared to wear them out just because they're white and I know I'll get them dirty but it's going to happen. Um, but yeah, these are so comfortable. I wouldn't say you run a mile in them because they're expensive but um, very comfortable. I definitely wear them to travel. Um, so yep, excited to wear these once I'm out of quarantine. So the next brand I have is Dior. And these are, I don't know what they're called, but they're just kind of like sock sneakers. Um, as you can see, they look like this. They kind of look like Jays or um, those Balenciaga sock sneakers. But I wanted these because they were a little different. I know a lot of people have those Balenciaga, Balenciaga sock sneakers, but I just wanted to try something a little different. So I got these. Very comfortable. I wear these to travel as well. You can obviously see what they are, but I like them because they're a little more understated. Um, and they kind of, you know, have, it's just the little, little details that I like. The next pair of shoes I have are my Dior sandals. And these are, I bought them in a size 37. I should have gone up a size because they are kind of small. Um, depending on how swollen your feet are. A lot of times when I travel, my feet are really swollen. That's when I buy shoes the most is when I'm in another state just visiting. Um, so I did have these stretched out. I just bought like a little uh, leather shoe stretcher from Amazon. Um, but I have them stretched out, so now they fit a lot better. Um, but keep in mind, if you do want these, I would suggest going up a half a size or a full size. Um, but these are very cute. I definitely want to wear them to the pool because um, they're expensive. So they're great just for, you know, everyday summer shoes um, with like some white toenails. I have one pair of shoes from Valentino. And um, these I got for my 25th birthday from my sister. So they knew I wanted these for some time and they found them in a really good deal. So they bought these for me. I haven't worn them out because my birthday was April 1st, so I was stuck at home, but that's okay. I'm excited to wear these out, but they're very comfortable. I will say they are more comfortable than um, Louboutins. Well, I would say you can't wear them for like 12 hours or anything, but um, they will, you can wear them like on a night out, um, depending on how long that night out is though. But I, I approve and I'm terrible with heels, so. Um, these are great. I got them at size 37. Um, I would probably recommend going up half a size, um, but 37 is my true size, so yep. And I think I'll probably just wear them some more around the house and kind of stretch them out, um, kind of break them in, so yeah. So next I have a pair of shoes from Hermes. These are the Aron sandals. I have worn these a few times, and I really like them. The only thing is they just, they hurt. So on the sides where your baby toes are, they do hurt a little bit and I don't know if it's due to the sizing or just the shoe itself. I got these in a 37 and a half, so they are my true size. Um, that's the only downside to them, but I really love these. Definitely great for summer, spring, um, casual outfit with jeans, um, so yeah. Next I have a pair of Louboutins and these are the Simple Pups, Simple Pups, Simple Pumps in the 100mm. I bought these at the Louboutin store in Paris, the original one. So these are sentimental and just kind of like a souvenir. I love these shoes, but they hurt. And they look great. Like it's, you know, the red with the black. It just, it's a pretty shoe, but they hurt very bad. I wore them to graduation um, and they just, just wasn't cutting it. My, I wouldn't say steer away from Louboutins, but be aware. They do hurt. And Louboutin said it himself, you know, he didn't make shoes to be to 
you know, be comfortable. He made them to be pretty. The next heel I have from Louboutin are the Pagals um, in the 100 millimeter. So I have them in nude, and these hurt as well. Um, and I knew that going into buying them, so I just wasn't ignorant to the fact I just wanted them. Um, they're great to collect. I will say I after buying these two pairs I didn't think about buying another pair because they hurt so bad just not practical I wore these um, to a dinner a few times and they're just they I'm bad with walking in heels but even people who I've talked to who are great at walking in heels I mean it hurts for them too so the shoes just hurt um, great to just to you know kind of decorate your room with and everything but definitely wouldn't recommend buying them you know to wear because you're not gonna wear them that long. And then the last pair I have are the Givenchy um, chain mules. Um, not much to say about these other than they kind of wear similar to my Gucci loafers. They're definitely um, kind of a statement and very edgy, which I like. I tried to sell these on Poshmark um, and no one really wanted them. So I was just like, whatever, I'll just keep it. Um, but yeah, very cute. I wear them mainly with like dark jeans, just kind of if I'm feeling edgy that day. Um, they're not the lightest shoes, but they're very cute and they definitely um, make a statement on any outfit. And I wanted these for some time um, and I saw that they were discounted almost like half off at Nordstrom a long time ago, so I just picked them up. But um, yeah. Alright, that's it for the video guys. If you have any questions or just any video suggestions that you'd like me to film for you, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!